so we hope that um, there were broad discussions going on uh, from your side uh, with regard to this case. So now we are going to tell you what our take is uh, in this case. So Danny, we discussed it also in our interdisciplinary setting and um, we decided to go for a multimodal strategy starting with a typical approach for rectal cancer with chemoradiation and the decision for this was on the one hand side the size of the primary tumor and on the other hand size uh, side the pain and the symptoms the patient had. And we uh, hoped that due to the local treatment, including radiation, um, we could offer a very effective analgetic therapy. So that was our take. Radiation, including also the growing region where the lymph node metastasis is. And concomitantly, the patient um, would receive capecitabine of course, as a concomitant um, radio sensitizer, but also to hopefully achieve some systemic efficacy for the two liver metastases. Okay, so that's perhaps not what everybody does because she metastas the the, the, this tumor has metastasized. One could also argue, you know, the, the distant metastases will define the prognosis of this patient. Um, we felt rather the local problems are now uh, at the center for this patient and that's why we, we have chosen that. Um, I think there's no wrong, right or wrong. Perhaps you can tell Pana what, what, what went on a little bit. We, the case is not so new. We have some follow-up. Perhaps mm -hmm. you can mention that. Yeah, the, the lady tolerated the treatment quite well and now she finished um, the chemo radiation treatment part and we did the follow-up PET-CT and we saw that there was quite a very good um, response, partial response, with a reduction in SUV over 50% of all lesions, including also the liver metastases. So we can say everything responded as we wished, as we hoped. And now the next uh, question that arises is what would be the next step in this situation? That's we're going to discuss tonight, I think. Yes. Um, but we, we, we were lucky in that sense. So even the distant metastasis in the liver with an insufficient cape cytopin dose, one has to say, because during radiotherapy one mm -hmm. does not dose so high, uh, responded to the treatment. There we were quite lucky. Could have been otherwise. Yeah. We could have, yes, you know. Yes, of course. And then, then we would have to say, we would have to say mm. now uh, le an intensive chemotherapy might have been a better idea. Yes. So. But intensive chemotherapy is still an option we need to discuss tonight because we know there are also some data for perioperative chemotherapy for resectable liver metastasis mm. so maybe in this oligometastatic setting even that would be a good approach mm. before hopefully going to a surgical procedure. Mm. So this is one very important question and, um, and we hope that you two also will discuss this situation accordingly. Yes, we are very much looking forward to your responses and we are curious to see what you are doing. So um, please let us know and I hope you enjoyed that case. Bye bye.